Welcome to our video series on more advanced eBay market research techniques. In this video, we'll look at TerraPeak's Title Builder Tool. Now, TerraPeak offers a very useful tool. And if we go to the main menu, it's called the Title Builder. And what it does essentially is that it gives you lots of relevant keywords for your auctions directly from auctions currently running. For example, okay, it's telling you here that you have 55 characters left and you can choose which eBay site you're going to be building the title for. So let's stick with eBay.com for now. And in the first example, let's choose the very popular Nintendo Wii. So just type in Nintendo and wait a few moments and there we go it gives you a listing sample of 400 and the last time I checked just a few minutes ago there were approximately 55,000 auctions running with Nintendo and Wii in the title so obviously it's very popular and this is just a small sample what this is telling you is that from among that sample of 400 which other keywords are appearing in those titles so out of those 400, the keyword we appears in 179 of them, 4 in 170, game 129, new 120, and so on. So that can help you find more relevant keywords for your title so it can help shortcut the entire title writing process. And it also tells you the current average price for the auctions with, in this case, Nintendo and Wii in the title. Plus the average shipping price, maximum price, and minimum price. And you can go directly to that search just by clicking on the View button here. So, out of the sample of 400, the average price across all 400 auctions with Nintendo in the title is $51.52. Average shipping is $861, the maximum price is $699.99, and the minimum price is a penny. But how can you use this information? Well, as I mentioned, it helps you find lots of relevant keywords quickly. So it's a good way of researching your competition to see what they're using for their auction titles. It's good for giving you ideas to construct relevant titles, and you can get more specific. So if you wish, you can just start with one keyword, and then out of the other keywords it gives you, you can start adding more keywords. So let's just add a space and we, and wait a few moments and see what happens. Okay, so now out of the sample of 400, the average price has gone up to $125.40. Average shipping is now $14.77 and the maximum and minimum have stayed the same. And we've narrowed down the keywords more. And here are some more keyword options. So out of these, if they're relevant and true, of course, for your auctions, new might be a good keyword. Or console. So let's add console and see what happens. Okay, now the average price is $353.89, average shipping has gone up to $31.62, and the maximum is now almost $800. Obviously, it's good to do keyword research, as I previously explained, to see which are the popular keywords, what people are actively searching on, and so on, but this shortcut is also helpful for just entering some possible keywords and really giving you some competitive research to see what your competition is up to, which keywords they're using, and how their auctions are doing. Obviously, it doesn't tell you. If we click here, it will show us just current auctions and not completed auctions. So this information is coming from current auctions so obviously the keywords it's giving here, we can't directly relate it to how well certain auctions have done and so on. 
So you can't really take this information as directly telling you which keywords to use for successful auctions since these auctions are still running. But it's really just a way of doing competitive research to see what's going on right now with those keywords, then giving you ideas for your own keywords for your auction titles to help you construct more relevant auction titles easily.